Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. So welcome to Women's Big Zone. Now let's just discuss about the team that is all raring to perform on the big stage. Joining me are our special guests Marina and Shatira. Welcome both of you to our show. So now let's discuss about the team straight up. First up we'll talk about the big picture. So having seen some of their performances whether it is their 2018 Asia Cup victory or a good fight they put against Pakistan in the 2019 ODIs we know that this team has the ability to punch above their weights so that has been an instrumental thing in changing the outlook of Bangladesh cricket your take on the journey of the team Shakira uh, yes uh, Bangladesh team is doing very well especially uh, in last world cup qualifying also they beat Pakistan and they played very well and all the players are performing um our opener shamin akhtar shukta he got made in century there and 130 not out moshida khatun is also doing well we have very good batting order and we have so many good all rounders so i think with the combination senior and junior player the team will do very good maybe uh, this is a surprise package for this world cup surprising package to say is shatira So Bangladesh is a cricket loving nation we all know that and now the fans are also following the women's team this brings pressure but how big an opportunity this is for them to show their potential mari Well definitely I mean I have always appreciated Bangladesh uh, they have that attitude never give up and literally if I have to tag some team it goes to them and yes they've beaten Pakistan um, well all credit goes to Salma how she handled and handled the team uh, all those years but i think with nigar coming into the picture they just needed that extra push and i i witnessed them and i actually had the privilege to talk to them in the qualifiers and the m- type of mindset uh, nigar brings it's uh, i mean it's amazing i like the way they have the confidence in the beat in pakistan and i think yes odi uh, t20 odi is the suit them rather than t20 but i think now bangladesh uh, 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 society and people are also backing them and with the results they've been giving recently i think uh, yes there is pressure but there has always been pressure on bangladesh to perform well so i think they are ready for it and i feel that they are a really good uh, well balanced team for odi is well balanced team they are ready for it so as you mentioned about nigar i'll come to you with my second question as well they haven't done quite well in t20 world cup but the players from the side like when we spoke to nigar sultana she told us that they believe that they are more suited to the one day format and they are excited for it so your views on it i do agree with that um, they actually don't have the that sort of power hitters that naturally can turn the game over for t20s but what they have is a very wise thinking tank and i think salma khatoon and now nigar under her wings will do well uh, they actually like to go calculated and they know their strengths and weaknesses and now they've started to sort of build their game plan around that so they are ideally very well suited for uh, odis and recently against pakistan at some time we all thought that they might fall behind but then they knew exactly when to push and uh, i mean they know their strengths especially running between the wickets playing the gaps really well and their bowling has been very economical so i think that for odis yes they are a side to watch uh, your views on that shatia you feel the same Yeah, obviously because you know uh, they have four ex captain in the team like uh, with Niga three ex captain in the team Jahanar Alam is there Ruman Ahmed is there and Salma Khatun is there and you know about Salma and Rumana they're very good all rounder and Jahanar Alam is i think one of the best pace bowler in the world so she is very smart very intelligent and with Salma's um, like and now she's playing as a senior player but uh, everyone is helping nigar sultana and nigar sultana itself she is a very intelligent captain and smart and what else say like uh, very confident 
that will help them a lot and what marina told about our bowling side everyone knows that bangladesh has always been very good in bowling we have two leg spinner in the playing 11 we have one left arm spinner nahida she is very good and we have salma khatun she have been a top uh, bowler number one bowler in the world so many times and we have a good pace bowler like jahanara alam so our bowling line is very very impact bowling line uh, lineup and all the fielders are very good also and what i told about the batters are doing very well what uh, our concern was in the batting side before but now the all the batters are getting uh, very well and they're getting runs in last all the tournaments and they they're in uh, like they are getting back their confidence that is the main important thing they are very good definitely but they didn't play so many matches like the other teams that is the problem no so how yes. many uh, like if they will play so many matches with the big teams so they will get the confidence and the uh, experience as well that was the problem with bangladesh team like all the players uh, like not all the players uh, are very experience in batting uh, with the other teams like they have never played with the big teams like new zealand and england and australia in odia format so that is the concern for bangladesh team but i think if they can play well calculative cricket so they will play well definitely yes so from a players perspective i want to know from you marina so this world cup can be a stepping stone for them it will give them an opportunity to host big countries in near future and eventually that will help them to take their cricket to another level how do you think the players should approach the games putting aside all the pressure that they have for their maiden appearance in the odi world cup i think participating in odi world cup it's every player's dream and i think the way uh, bangladesh team is progressing it's really brilliant i mean personally i really like murshid i like the way she plays and i like fahima as well she's very calculated bowler she knows what lines and lengths to bowl on which surfaces so they are very smart bunch of uh, players i think going into odi world cup i i don't think they will feel any pressure i think as i know them they will be looking at for an opportunity to make an impact because they have all the resources and yes definitely uh, it doesn't matter if they haven't played against new zealand or australia or big teams what matters is that how and what belief they have in their team and their, in their in themselves because yes uh, it does affect that if you're not playing international cricket but what actually matters is they know they are going into odi world cup they have been doing their preparation and now it will be all matter that how they go and execute their plan correct so as you said that belief the word you use and it is uh, what we know that belief is something that takes you miles so bangladesh like has never played england as you mentioned right that they have never played england australia or new zealand in odis probably the powerhouses of the game today so now facing them in the world cup how would that be a benefit for the players and can bangladesh be a surprise pass package obviously you have mentioned it uh, shatira but uh, what can the teams expect of them in the world cup actually uh, what maina said before like uh, playing world cup is a big thing for bangladesh as well because uh, there were uh, was sri lanka um in the qualifier and sri lanka didn't qualify so it's a big thing for bangladesh like we are playing for the first time uh, one day world cup and that is a good sign for bangladesh also because that big teams they never played with bangladesh so they doesn't know about the uh, like our ab- about our bowling you know how good they are they can beat any anyone any time so all the bowlers are very good and batters also so what i told you before like uh, our main problem is in batting for experience nothing like all the batsmen batter are very good but if they were enough experience then it should be uh, good but uh, no one knows about our bowling stand like the big teams they never played with us also so this is i think it is their concern bangladesh we don't have so like we have to play for semis or any time like when we went for asia cup no one knows that bangladesh is going to be the champion in asia cup bangladesh is going to beat india and pakistan in t20 format but bangladesh did that so bangladesh is always like a surprise package so they can do anything any time because the team went for world cup i believe that the best team ever i seen in bangladesh because i was with the team from the first national team and now also i'm playing the domestic cricket with them and all the players most of the players have played with me in my under in my domestic team 
I know their capability. You know about Murshida Khatun, what Marina told. Like one domestic tournament, she was playing all the matches. She was getting 70, 80, 90, 100. No one can get her out. So she is like that kind of player. Once she will get her performance back or uh, she will be in good shape, no one can get her out. So they are like that kind of player. We have very uh, players, but they have to play their best in the World Cup. Then maybe Bangladesh can go in the semis also. When we talk about a World Cup tournament, experience plays a big role. But from the last World Cup to now, if we count, the side has played just 12 ODIs. The lack of experience is the one thing when the team finds itself at the back foot in some sense. So will that hurt them somewhere in the tournament? Well, um, I think yes, lack of experience does affect you. But again, it's all about what you can do at a certain situation. And uh, even coming into the ICC qualifiers, they were not playing any international or bigger tournaments. And that's exactly what I asked Negar, that how she was going to prepare and how did they guys prepare for the ICC World Cup uh, qualifiers. They said that they had a plan they couldn't do about the international matches, but what they could do was how they can prepare themselves. And yes, at certain times you do think that lack of experience matters, but again, I think the best thing what Bangladesh does is that they like to keep things simple. Even in vlogger formats, they are very disciplined in their bowling and they know their strengths and they play according to their strengths. What I witnessed in qualifiers, they stick to the simplest things and actually made it difficult for the opposition to get out of their trap. Overall, they are very uh, much better fielding side and again, I think they needed that extra push of faith and now they have in it. But again, I feel that whatever they have, they can just take it. The faith, the belief, the skills. And at times, the lack of pace against bigger teams does affect because uh, New Zealand, Australia, England, they are so used to play against each other and they like to time the ball and they like to face really quick bowlers. So think, I think that with subcontinental teams, it actually has an added favour to us that there are not many quick bowlers in our subcontinent right, that actually can create problems for the bigger teams. Okay, this then brings us to the squad now. We'll just talk about the players. So, Ritu Muni, Jahanar Alam, who is an experienced campaigner, are forming their pace unit. So, playing in the New Zealand conditions for the very first time, how big a challenge it would be for them, Shatira? Like uh, recently, um, Nigar also uh, mentioned that they had a talk with the boys team about how, to, uh, how they could assess the New Zealand conditions. So, on that? Yeah, the condition will be the, uh, what I'll say, like, that will be a little bit problem for Bangladesh team because we never played in that condition. No one actually from Bangladesh. So this is the first time they were in New Zealand and uh, they are playing in that condition. So that will be a little bit problem because for the Pacers they have to maintain the swing as well. They have to understand about the year and swing, what does is going, how, where it is going. So there will be some concern, but it will be okay, I think, because they went there uh, before one month and uh, now they are doing practice there and they will play practice match. So I think they can adjust in that position. And what you were, uh, what you were uh, talking about, uh, Jahanara and Ritu Moni, they are really very good because everyone knows before this World Cup there was um, one tournament in Malaysia and Jahanara Alom was out of team for the first time in Bangladesh history and that was a big thing for everyone like player, uh, player like Jahanara Alom uh, suddenly she was out of the team and she was also uh, quite upset and all the media and everyone was talking about her out of team so now she is back in the team so maybe that is a new challenge for Jana Alum also and the player like Jana Alum no one but I can say like she is the best bowler in Bangladesh ever I've seen base bowler so she can play after like more five years also because we don't have so many good uh, pace bowlers in the pipeline like Pakistan have so many pace bowlers India have so many pace bowlers even Sri Lanka but Bangladesh we don't have any good uh, pace bowlers like Jahanara Alam so she has to play well there and Ritu Moni is also contributing in bat and ball she is a very good all-rounder so and Lata Mondol is also there she is also a very good all-rounder Rumana Ahmed and uh, Pahima Khatun even Salma Khatun Salma Khatun is a very good all-rounder 
when we first started cricket sanma was number 3 batsman and i can remember in asia cup uh, asia cup 2008 she did 90 against india and she have hit at 24 of that like 80 runs she hit at 4 and um, more uh, like uh, next 30 uh, 10 runs she took uh, single and double so she is also a very good all rounder we have a very very good team so now if they can adjust in that way that she, they will be well so you mentioned um, about salma khatun that brings me to the next question so ruman ahmed salma khatun both of them has considerable experience by their side a lot will be on their shoulders too to take the team further as spin appears to be one of their strengths um, marina yes definitely uh, and i know that uh, they are they do rely on their spin and even with the new ball but again it's about how they execute uh, yes i feel that they lack on the pace side but then again they know their weaknesses so it can actually be uh, can be a blessing in disguise but i i mean uh, with nigar and even sazana they are they have also a huge role to play i've, I've seen sazana hug he's been really involved in uh, everything whatever team does so the best thing about this team i feel that they know how to connect with each other they back each other but yes spin has a huge role to play uh, i think the spinners kind of a set momentum and tone for their bat to bowling side uh, uh, lata is a very experienced bowler i think she will get some uh, support in new zealand because she's a tall person and can get bounced uh, yes jahanara alam uh, i mean i faced her and she was one of the difficult bowlers to score against but yes i i mean i like the spirit again they do not give up but i think the way the batting top order and the spinners they will like to be set the tone for their team and all that true so quick stat here from the turn. from 2018 to now fargana huck has been the highest run getter for the side having scored 342 runs from 12 matches how crucial will be her contributions at the top order shakti Yeah, but what Marina told already, Farjana. Uh, Farjana is the player who always think about her batting. Especially uh, most of the time, she has started playing from my, from my team, from the from her childhood when she started cricket. So most of the time, what she did, like uh, she was doing fielding, and one ball came, and she was like unconcerned. But then I told her. what you were you were watching then she told no i, I was watching the batter how she uh, bat no so she is very concerned about her batting and always she think about that and she's a very good batter as you know like her performance also says that so she think about the game like when and how to accelerate the match shell because she is number 3 batsman uh, definitely uh, top order batter and uh, she started slow that is the problem most of the time she started slow but uh, later on she cover her strike rate that is important uh, that thing they have to calculate that, like uh, with whom they are playing if they are playing with a bigger team then the, that is not uh, not a problem but if they are playing with a bigger team like uh, india australia new zealand then they have to think about the strike rate that is very, very important we have very good batter what i mentioned before but everyone need to think about their strike rate like they have to calculate this game especially this world cup so now about the young captain nigar sultana who lead the side with which has a rather good mix of both young and experienced blend about her captaincy uh, as a player what do you think of her marina ikka Well, I, I I really like her. I mean, whenever I interact with her, she's pretty confident. She knows what her team holds, and again, she is the person who, as a player, wants to make an impact. And when you have that sort of captain who wants to lead from the front, it actually does help the other teammates as well. But yes, I think they still need to have some sort of plan because, uh, as uh, we were talking about, Sadana, she likes to do the cheeky things. I mean, you won't. even give attention to her when ever she comes to the crease and suddenly she is 30 40 plus but they heavily rely on sweeps they rely on the stacking down and taking singles but in new zealand there will be a lot of bounce there will be pace so they have to concentrate on other stroke as well maybe a spin or sweeping against spin won't that good or be an option there so i'm just concerned that how will they tackle the, those conditions but again i've seen nigar working with her uh, a team and they do they quickly adjust and 
have a plan against the conditions and oppositions so it will be interesting to see how they can actually work on their batting strengths and try to overcome the conditions there which they will face with. captain leading the front is the phrase that i'll uh, take from what you said shatira same question <laughs> actually uh, i'm always impressed with nika sultana because she is a good captain she is a good leader and she is a good friend of everyone that is very important a captain should be a good friend of the senior players as well with the junior players with the new players who is uh, playing for the first time and she's a very good friend she can understand everyone and she's very uh, what i'll say she wants to talk everyone and very uh, a uh, smiling face always uh, who can make the team together always if she uh, acts as a wicket keeper as well before when she played she is look like that so uh, as a captain now she is playing and uh, what i told before like she is very smart and she can read the batter very fast that is very important so if you can as a captain you can read the batter very well so you can set up the fielding where you need and you have to think which bowler can do better in this situation with this batsman so i'm very imp- impressed with her and when she first came in cricket and uh, in the national team i told that this girl is going to be the next captain and that happened so early she didn't play so many matches now only 25 uh, t- uh, one day matches but in the meantime she became the captain and that is very important like salma khatun was the captain from 2008 to 2021 uh, to, uh, so it's a long time i think she is one of the captain who became the captain for so long uh, for any country and nigar sultana have taken the place so you have to understand what that girl have the capability yes So heading on, uh, they bat uh, pretty deep, probably till eight, nine, and we know having all rounders in the setup is always a positive. How does all rounders come to the picture, especially in the mega events, Marina? Well, I, I think right now more teams are tilting towards having more all rounders in the side. But uh, uh, for me, uh, I think it's okay to have some specialists. But yes, if we talk about batting, the more deep, the more depth you can have in your batting, it actually helps. and bangladesh does have that i mean jahan ara even lata they uh, like they also are handy with the bat but yes when there's a pressure game uh, it might go so deep and close at the end of the overs and you need someone who can uh, probably take good singles or hit two or three boundaries when required so yes all rounders do have a huge role to play especially in modern day cricket because the games are so close uh, the conditions are more favorable to batters so uh, i feel yep uh, bangladesh is actually good at this that even the 11th one know how to just go and grab a single or maybe be cheeky and get in a boundary so as a player i'd like to know this from both of you how do you settle your nerves before this big tournament especially when you're making your maiden appearance i think it depends on the players like uh some player cannot sleep whole the night and uh, be, be, before the first match or some player maybe they will sleep uh, nicely in the night because it depends on their own nerve like how to think about cricket and how to think but i think uh, for bangladesh players uh, they will not uh, like have lots of pressure there because they know playing world cup is a big thing for bangladesh and for the first time it's a big thing for them all the things are like new for them new zealand is a new city new country for them new zealand team and most of the teams are new for them so i think it it, it will not be a big pressure for them they will handle it easily and they i think they are very very excited to play with the big teams there well in early days it was very hard for me to sleep actually i would uh, just go through the opposition batting fielding especially bowling as i was open up but then with the passage of time as maturer i got uh, what i used to do was just to go through my notes the things i was doing when i was uh, doing well on field um, the rituals kind of things and then i would just leave everything rest to god and sleep well and then when i woke up early yes i would just remind myself of my good innings what things i was doing at my crease like balance stance and all that sort of stuff and then it was okay for me to uh, focus on one ball at a time that's too basic but actually that helped me i never used to count my score whenever i was scoring big uh, so it's time to put some prediction hats on coming to you shatira okay. first 
um, your first playing 11 of Bangladesh? I go with Murshida and Shamin Akhtar will open. And number three, Barjana. Number four, Nigar Sultana. Number five, Romana Ahmed. And number six, Ritu Muni. And I'll go with Fahima Khatun, who is a very good all rounder, leg spinner, and batter. Then Salma Khatun. Then I want to add Lata Mondol because she's a very good all rounder, very good fielder, very good batter, and very good bowler as well. And Jahanara Alam and Nahida left arm spinner. That will happen. Your 11, Marina? I think it's pretty much uh, similar to her. I think it's a good combination of spinners and pace as well and also a good opening partnership and middle order seems very solid. So, it's same for me as well. Okay, so where is Bangladesh finishing in this tournament, Marina? Well, uh, it will be, uh, I think uh, with Pakistan, they'll be pretty, uh, you can say, confident and Pakistan has to watch them. Against India, they've all been being competitive. I'm pretty hopeful if they get their batting sorted uh, in the conditions, they might also be winning against uh, India. But I have a little bit concern against how they handle pace uh, against Australia, New Zealand especially. Uh, England, they can give tough time to them. So, just two games for me, uh, even with West Indies. Uh, I think that they have to come up with their A game against Australia, New Zealand and West Indies. Have to come against their A game. So, Shatira? I think they have chance to win against uh, West Indies and Pakistan maybe, but I'm, but I'm not sure, this is the first time they are playing there. But they have a good chance to beat them, but other teams will be very difficult for them in that condition. But at least for me, if they will win one match in this World Cup, that will be a big thing for whole Bangladesh. But if they will like do well, maybe they can win at least two matches in this World Cup. Okay then. So, this was all it from the Outside View Bangladesh preview. The team would be making their maiden appearance in the ODI World Cup and would definitely be one to watch out for. You can also ask your questions in the comments. We would definitely take them when we come up with our pre, mid and post shows. Until then, stay tuned to Women's Cricket Zone for all the updates on women's cricket.